jumping off cliffs nowadays. So I thought you might like some tips in case you ever find yourself in a situation like that. You never know. I also like climbing up cliffs. And for a while, I couldn't figure out why these people insist on jumping off perfectly good cliffs. <laughs> Climbers do not really like falling. And um, typically, falling kind of means you blew it. So at first, I just couldn't find any good reason to jump off a cliff. But as it turns out, similar to wanting to climb up a cliff, it's fun. There's also the practical side. It has been shown that even if you have an office job, you could one day need to jump out the window of a high-rise building. <laughs> So I think we can all agree that fun is good and it also never hurts to know a variety of ways to save your own life. If you have no interest in fun or survival, jumping off a cliff is probably even higher on your to-do list. So there's, <laughs> there's basically three kinds of cliffs. Tall cliffs, in-between cliffs, and short cliffs. Tall cliffs are awesome because you can fly a wingsuit off them. But in the US, most tall cliffs our national parks where it's illegal to base jump for reasons that, quite frankly, are stupid. In between size cliffs are a whole other can of worms due to being that awkward in between size, and we just don't have time for all that right now, so we're talking about short cliffs. In Moab, we have lots of short cliffs, three to four hundred feet tall, and no one's going to get their panties all in a bunch if you jump off them. So obviously, you do need a parachute and you need to know how to use it, but that's why you skydived a few hundred times out of an airplane. Skydiving is expensive, and it does take a lot of time, but believe me, it's worth it. So, you know how to do this out of an airplane, with loads of time to get your parachute out, no cliffs to hit, and a whole airport to land in. You don't yet know how to do this off a 400-foot cliff with five seconds to impact, and a rocky dirt patch to land in. So the first problem you have is sheer terror. <laughs> I found the best way to avoid being terrified is to know exactly what you're doing and do it perfectly, because then logically there's no reason to be afraid. <laughs> okay then. So, the first thing you want to do when jumping off a cliff is to get really far away from the wall, because hitting the wall is the biggest no-no. So, step one, you want to back up five to twenty feet from the edge and run like hell. <laughs> towards the edge. <laughs> you might get scared here. Now step two. As soon as your feet leave the cliff and you're in free fall, you want to angle your body slightly at a 45 degree angle. This is super important if you go two head down or two head high, you actually can hit the cliff or your parachute might open pointing in the wrong direction or both. So you may be tempted to flail your arms and legs wildly. Don't. <laughs> you want to be relaxed, symmetrical, and stable. <laughs> now, step three is the single most important part of jumping off a cliff, because no matter how nice you free fall, in two more seconds, you are going to hit the ground. So, count to two, and proceed immediately to step three. Reach back and grab the little tiny parachute that flies out and pulls out the big parachute and throw it in the air. If you only remember one thing about jumping off a cliff, please remember that at some point you need to get your parachute out and you need to do it before you hit the ground. <laughs> so that is really our whole goal. Get away from the wall and get your parachute open in the right direction. <laughs> that, was step, that was by step one. You're, you're past that. So, remember, plenty of people do mess up step one and two completely, and some of them still live. So, if you've done everything perfectly, there is now a decent chance that you're under your parachute and you're flying away from the wall. And if you're not, well, you're screwed because five minutes is not enough time to learn emergency procedures. Sorry. So go to your dirt patch, avoid the trees and boulders, and land, hopefully without smashing into the ground. So now you know how to jump off an object, <laughs> which is a fun and useful skill. <laughs> and just remember, if you don't mess up, there's nothing to be afraid of. And don't forget step three.
Please. <laughs>